Walston, would you come and lead our leadership prayer for our country, sir? Thank you, Jesus. This gentleman is taking up the helm to, to stand in the gap and bring forth victory for our president. And I'm in support of him. Hallelujah. Praise God for our country. Praise God for our founding fathers. The brought forth this country to see the liberty and proposition that all men are created in full life. One nation under God. Lord, we pray for our president. As this time, for years, he's being attacked. Now he's being attacked in Congress and being attempted to be in peace, Lord. And we ask that you go into the hearts of those uh, men and women in Congress and make them realize the evil that they are doing. And we ask that when the vote is cast, the vote will not be cast to impeach our president. The vote will be cast to hold him up. The, the fact that he's coming and he's cleansing, he's cleansing our nation, he's removing the corruption, and he's fighting hard for, for everything that we believe in in this country, Lord. And, and we know, Lord, that you are behind him. We know, Lord, that your action is what brought him uh, into the office of the presidency. And we know that your action will keep him there, Lord. So we ask that you just continue to bless him, bless his family as they, they, they fight against all this hatred that is going against them, Lord. And we ask that you just lay your hands on them and lay your blood over them, the blood of Jesus, and protect them, Lord. Protect them as they, as they go forward. And, and every day they're being attacked and protect them from these evil attacks and these evil men. And with this, all of us here say that we're behind you, Mr. President. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We know you will help us. We know you will bring us through this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter how many times man can screw up his life, but God is always in the control. And thank you for the blood of Jesus. Yes. Man can run to the blood of Jesus. Yes. And man can fight for with Jesus for his life. Yes. And this is God give us yes. opportunity. It doesn't matter how many times Satan screw up. Yes. yes. And we always run to Jesus. And, yes. and we thank you. Thank you for this time, yes. Father. Thank you for this time. What you're going to rise up, people. What you're going to rise up, people who are going to run to you. Who are going to run to you no matter what, what they did in the past. They're going to run to you. They're going to run to you, Father. They're going to run to you. No matter what they did. They're going to run to you, Father. We thank you for this time. When you're going to bring the last, you're going to bring the last. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We just cry out to me for my grand nephew Logan, three years old. Snatched out of the snatched out of the den of the devil. Three years old. 
Daisy. from a home of drug addiction and abuse. Father, I just lift up my grandnephew Logan. He's just all messed up, all destroyed. But you put him in the home of his grandmother who loves you and seeks you. Father, I lift him up, God. We need your power. We believe in your power. We depend on your power to set our family members free who are supported by the drug. Who are in trouble? Father, I just declare in Jesus' name, by the blood of Jesus, healing your healing power over the mind, body, soul, and spirit of little Logan. Lord, I declare your victory over this home. Father, I, just, I declare your destiny for this little guy. We break the power of Satan. We reduce your power, Jesus says. We declare it. Yes. 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 Yes
families, as men for our homes, and as men for this church and for this community, begin to cleanse us of anything that is impure and anything that is wicked and anything that is divisive and anything that looks like our nation that turns against each other for simple power and for simple prestige and for simple pleasure. God, begin to cleanse us from the illicit pleasures and begin to call us to you, to hear your voice, to know you. God, there are commanders today that are fearing, oh God, the worst. If they don't have God, the fullness of the needs that they have to have to do the mission, God. We're crying out for them. We're crying out for them, oh God. They need the tools. They need, oh God, the things that they need, all of the, all of the equipment that is new and ready. But even in that, oh God, force on force, we need the power of God. We need the angels of God. We need the protection of God for your will to be done. So God, as you're moving in our military, God, as you are moving in the hearts of those, oh God, who have been wrestling and struggling, oh God, with the cultural issues, but having to face, oh God, the defense issues, we pray, Lord, you provide what they need. We pray that you provide protection upon those in North Korea, oh God, and a dome around them, oh God, protecting us, oh God, from the strongholds that would want to annihilate and take out others, God. Protect our soldiers and our sailors, we pray. And then, God, we pray for those, those spouses full of courage and full of strength and learning how to walk independently and alone while their spouse is abroad and those family members. We pray that you would protect them and keep them. And Father, we yes. come against this spirit of suicide, yes. against yes. our soldiers, yes. and against yes. our veterans, God, Jesus. and against those in this yes. land, Lord. We come before you and begin to pray the spirit of life come into our nation once again. And we ask, Lord, this as we humble ourselves before you, that you would hear our prayer. Yes, 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 Lord.